prosperity. For prosperity. One night only. One night only. <laughs> it's sad, and you know what that means. For the first time ever, it is the AGW View Impromptu Crew, the true all elite duo, coming to you, recording a special Simply Reacted for this night's AEW Saturday Night Collision. So, hello, everybody, and welcome to this AGW View Impromptu Special with me, the simple man of the simple brand, the voice of the day on the end, and one of the founding fathers of our AGW fam. My name is Noel Foster, guns up with my all elite brother, Sid Day Zero. The K I N G King Anthony. Anthony, it's Saturday night. It's all right for fighting. And Air Fox looks to breathe with the switchblade. Are you ready to go for this special two hour preview level show? Pay per view like in Connecticut. We just came off a of pay per view like on Dynamite on Wednesday. So why the heck not? <laughs> why, why the hell not? There's so much wrestling. All the wrestling. All the wrestling. All the wrestling. All the wrestling damn it. It's sports entertainment. And we see AR Fox last and can. AR Fox, such an incredibly dynamic athlete, taking it to Orange Cassidy, John Moxley, the House of Black, countless individuals. This guy is a show stealer, Shane Taylor, and now he's collided with the Switchblade Jay White. To your point, as we just talked about prior to going live, well, they'll see it on demand, but whatever. My show, right. my channel. Uh, right. Jay White right now holding hostage to Triple B, hung across the announce table with Najee McGinnis, Tony Giovanni, and Kevin Kelly. No touch. No touch. The mm -hmm. Reigns were underway. Referee Stephon Smith for this opening contest. And as of right now, it is at full gear. The main event is MJF defending the Triple B against Switchblade Jay White. But that very well could change tonight. That really could in the main event, which I feel like Jay White and AR Fox is a, is a very good opener because basically you're going to have you're going to have the one MJF have the title regardless for it to be defended against Kenny Omega. So this is of course smart booking right here having, having Jay White and AR Fox go first since he's right. like you alluded to holding hostage of the Triple B. I still don't know. MJF's got friends in dangerous places and enemies in high and low places at this point. Everyone's gunning for MJF. Fred or foe, I don't freaking know, but I really do wonder who the hell is he going to get to take on Bullet Club going. If we know next week, Wednesday, he takes him on eight-man tag, but he has no friends. He has no allies. He hasn't picked anybody. And he's already rejected the kingdom and the acclaim. Which, I mean, your guess is as good as mine for next Wednesday. I ain't got, any, I ain't got anybody I can think of that would tag along with MJF or even MJF for fun. Oh, I know I'm ahead of you, but we got a Ring of Honor World Television Championship match between the King of Television, Samoa Joe, and Rhett Titus. Oh, Rhett Titus. The last, okay, Mr. Professional himself. And of course, Friday Night Fight, it's a Carl Sheena taking on Abaddon as I just got the graphic. So we got three championships on the line. And of course, Samoa Joe, he made a deal with the devil where he will look out for MJF as long as he gets an AEW Championship rematch. Oh, yep. Still coming tonight also, of course, we got Dax Harwood going one-on-one. -on -one. I guess that's what like our stocks. And, of course, in our main event, it is the devil versus the angel. It is the streak versus the status quo. It is MJF defending the gold, proverbially, against Kenny Omega. AR Fox the advantage, though. Oh, ripped off the ropes. And Jay White. Whoa, what? Matrix is skipping the kip up big as the guy wraps the switch play on the outside of the ring. The dynamic rubber nature of AR Fox, I swear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's insane on how much agility. I mean, let's not forget. The one regret I had with AR Fox is they should have been, him and Swerve should have not been broken up early. Wow! Ah! Mm -hmm. Don't press off the ring post. And unreal. Un unreal. They shoot off different guns are blazing right now. But again, Bullet Club Gold, numbers game. You see the guns at voice. And you see Rock Hard Juice Robinson. At ringside. Take a look at the replay here. How the hell do you do that? Lots of practice, lots of agility, and lots of flexibility. <laughs> and fair point. And rolling cutter inside the ring, hooking Jay White up and around. Jay White, no counter. Ooh, hit of the knee. And now it's looking for here. Oh! Back in the corner with the exploder. Down and of course, the guns. Guns up. Propaganda machine, Austin Gunn. Propaganda machine? No, no, no. Ain't no propaganda, propaganda machine. machine. No. I, 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 I call it as I see it. Oh, MJF and a mystery partner of his choosing. 
take on the Zero guns with the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship, part of the Zero Hour, as MJ will be working double duty once again. And crazy man, of course, the main event will culminate with MJF as of right now, defending the AEW World Championship against Switchblade Jay White if he gets through Kenny Omega tonight. And of course, Kenny Omega's already been scouted by Switchblade Jay White as Don Cows continues to recruit for his family. As with big hip toss by the Switchblade here. Ooh, Ooh and a chop there. Chop. Cover, one count only. Just a one. No, hey, Jay White just toying with AR Fox. I mean, again, he is the counter puncher, as we know, all right? He is the guy that literally oh, defines the match and controls it to his level, mental and physical, off the ropes. And runs there, Fox sees him off his feet. Wow. Yeah. Very. As both men trying to struggle to get to their feet. Oh, Jay right there with the elbow. Again, DDT! Advantage, advantage, big DDT. Spike there, Fox. Jensen going for the cover, though. He's out there. He is. He's pulled the legs in, cover. Whoa! Whoa. I don't know if AR Fox kicked out of that or Jay White's own momentum rolled him through to get the shoulders up on that. I felt like it was Jay's momentum because AR, AR Fox was down for a little bit longer. As this match will continue now, rest of my quality, picture and picture, and you see the Bullet Club gold taking advantage on the outside as Jay White distracts referee Stephon Smith. Turn around, Stephon! No, 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 no. Stephon, I don't see nothing. Keep continuing, Jim. Jay White. Keep distracting him. It'll be everything in BG's fight. What are you talking about? The, ah. see, you see him wearing the merch. You, you, they, they do nothing wrong. They ain't see nothing. I was rip hard into the barricade as my bally brother. Card blade is here. <laughs> Card blade is here in Connecticut. Good, you I, love to see it. I still say switchboard is better. Damn it. No, nope, no. Nope. Well, apparently switchboard was not in their idea plans to come up with the card blade itself. And I'm sure Carl Sheila's plans did not include facing our worst nightmare Abaddon tonight and what's going to be a fright night fight, trick or treat indeed for champion or challenger for the AEW mm. Women's World Championship as a timeless encounter awaits for the winner, Cover. Two, no, as we learned, Tony Storm will be challenging for the AEW Women's World Championship at full gear. Timeless. There it is. I was waiting for it. Damn it. And, of course, we also have Hux, Dax Harwood taking on Ricka Stocks. One half of the current AEW World Tag Team is not to mention your Young Bucks have literally a call your shot anytime they want for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Yes, we do. Ah, oh, Dragon Screw Leg went down. That move has to suck. Don't With the air guitar mannerism of Hiroshi Tanahashi. Go Ace. Of course, one of the greatest rivals of Switchblade, Jay yep. White. When Jay White came back to Excursion, he targeted the ace first at Wrestle Kingdom 11. Mm hmm. Still one of my favorite Wrestle Kingdoms to this day. And stay tuned, folks. The HW View will be back with an HW Impromptu previewing Wrestle Kingdom. And of course, we will have our year end special where we look at what we approve, courtesy of ATW, and the greatest matches, the greatest superstars, male and female, and our promotion of the year. That's oof. Promotion of the year. That's going to be a good one, folks. It's really a toss-up, in my opinion. It really time is. To be, time to be determined, and it will be live. So stay tuned for more on that. It might be the last Dynamite of the year that we do that, because also that night, we likely will be previewing the final pay-per-view of 2023 currency in AEW, World's End. World's End from Long Island, New York. The home of the devil and the current AEW World Champion, might I add, MJF. Which I find it interesting how they're doing Worlds in, and it's going to be in MJF's hometown. I've kind of figured out uh, – it's kind of like – how should I put this? Kind of like, you know, because he's about to enter a betting war of 2024, so yeah. to say. So it's like yeah. – so it's like I see what you're doing here, but I still feel like low-key MJF re-signed with, like, with AEW, but just don't want to come out in the open with it yet. That's what I feel like. But again, that's still yet to be determined. That's, that's got to get through the night and get through the rest of November. As we are back here at AEW Collision, I might go live with this just because of the main event. Oh, because of the implications. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> Guns up. 
Uh, Jay White right now. Switchblade Jay White, the current possessor of the Triple B, stolen property of Maxwell Jacob Freeman. AR Fox fighting back, though, again, the big shot. And of course, Jay White's coming off a recent match against Penta Estil Miedo. Yep. After his merit was called into question about him being a champion. Uh, oh, nice. Countered there to a tope atomico. Oh, oh my. my God. <laughs> Battle right roll tope. Watch that Bullet Club going on the floor, now to the opposite. Barrel oh, roll Kevin tope Hall. again. The fans are going wild. Kevin Knight got hops here. Fox going to run for his money. Yeah. Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. Up and down. Twisted corkscrew. Neck breaker. You see how AR Fox got, back to the got to the top rope so quick like that? And with these, I'm going to fly. <laughs> he hit it with the sense of atomic color cover to the ah, oh. That was 2. I say 7 or 2.8 at finest. <laughs> Hey, I first can't believe it. Even Colton can't believe it himself on the outside. Oh, my gosh. He yep, that woke the crowd, crowd up real quick. Incredible aerial offense. Boy, do you have some decisions to make in December, pal. Oh, I know. Arlington, Garland for both Ring of Honor and Collision, and then back to the Paycom, but this time for AEW and, o and OKC. Boy, do I ever. Of course, we got Bonner right now. We're seeing the developing fallout between one minion, Billy Starts, getting verbally tirated and chastised by the yep. current Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena, who apparently had to defend her title against the person she beat, Mercedes Martinez, date to be determined. How fitting would it be, though, one year to the day she won the title? It was Ring of Honor Foul Battle. She loses it um, Mercedes Martinez. Um, about that. Um, wow! What a sp Spanish fly. Two. Two. No. Athena will be defending that Ring of Honor Women's World Championship this upcoming Thursday for Ring of Honor against Mercedes Mar uh, Martinez. That match will be live for the people in Connecticut after Collision go off there. Oh, wow. So they can't put out all the stops. And 450. Out, no. 450. Well, though, that's on its feet. Caught him. Oh, yes. oh. Got the Snapdragon high on the transition board. into oh, Blade Runner. Yeah, there it is. And no one can tell that's going to boost. She floats over, covered Got him. Her leg, free with the switchblade. Damn. Got Very him. good opener to start collision. Very good opener. Very game opener by AR Fox. But again, Switchblade J. White remains unpinned and unsubmitted in all elite wrestling. Guns up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, working, working. We got the champ. He got his belt back. He got the belt. He tried to steal it back. Whoa, wait a minute. Again, the numbers game. MJF and JY Sam, but JY still in possession of the Triple B as he runs out of the arena. Before the main event, I have a feeling MJF is going to think of another plan because that was plan A and plan A failed because of the numbers game. That's the only reason Jay White still holds that title right now. And again, it will become official come AEW full year, probably one year to the day that MJF's reign begins. Is Jay White truly on another level above the devil? Or will MJF prove once again why he is better than you and you know it? AEW World Championship on the line. And that might still change because still come tonight in our main event here on Collision. The AEW World Championship on the line and the streak. MJF defends both of those against Kenny by God Omega. Yep. We go backstage to the acclaim. Got the acclaim. Daddy ass. Da, da. Sixty-two days. That's right. Sixty-two days. Eight of trios champions. Oh dear God! Why are we making sixty-nine such a popular thing? <sighs> Let's the less we talk about that. The, yeah, this. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> what? But go back in time out. Go back in time out. Oh, the idiot. <laughs> 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 
69 days with the acclaim next week on AW Collision. Uh, and it's going to get weird. It's going to get even more weird. And Matt's caster, shame. <laughs> Boy! Oh, Lord! <laughs> Now, this is what I'm talking about here. More Dome Castle on AEW in Ring of Honor television, and my wish has been granted. Well, I mean, Don Castle said he wants to give the people what they want, and more people want Don Castle on their screen, so you're getting it. Oh, my gosh. This guy. Oh, the boys is going to be a tag team action. Okay. The boys. <laughs> the boys are in tag team action on college. I'm Okay, but well now I've seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that yet. Oh, now, now we know why the guns were in their gear. Because the boys are taking off the guns. And clearly a preview ahead of AEW full gear, but they will challenge MJF and a part of his choosing if he so deems worthy for the and Ring Don of Honor Championship. Says Don Castle leaves his boys alone to try and go break some hearts. Oh, Lord. That's, I don't think that's a good idea. All I hear is Radio Gaga. Boys are going to suffer. <laughs> wow. I haven't heard that song in a while. <laughs> I mean, this is the same guy that used to come out to, and that's all I want, all I need. The freaking dude is a rock star. It's all right. His boys, though, not so much a strong supporting act, but they are formerly Ring of Honor six man worth catching champions, if that counts for anything. Yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot about that, Ring. Almost. <laughs> right. The drop down there by the boy one. I'm just going to call boy one, but I'm not sure if that's Brent. Oh, I step up his Gurry. Tag. Again, I'm as confused as which boy is who here. It's like thing one and thing two. <laughs> okay, right, so Dr. Seuss, but you're not wrong. I mean, we are, we are on the eve of Halloween <laughs> on this weekend. I'm just saying. <laughs> trick or treat. The treat of the boys. The trick being you don't get Don Cass in the ring. I saw with no counter there by Austin Gunn. Of course, we know the Righteous previously challenged MJF and MJF for the Ring of Armor Tag Team Championships at Wrestle Dream. And MJF fulfilled his promise, not only shoving Dutch up his ass, but retaining the Ring of Armor Tag Team Championships all on his own. That's, oh, Brandon Tate. Oh, That's God. Brandon. That was Brandon. And the one in the corner is Brent. that has got clothesline inside, outside, down, and sent to the outside. There it goes. Bye-bye, Brandon. Brent, uh -oh. Brent, 310, the Yuma. Yuma just got you. The 310 of Yuma just left the station, and Bullet Club Gold's working on all cylinders. Guns up. Damn. We're Bullet Club tonight, 2-0. <laughs> yeah. Rock Hard Juice Robinson doing a victory lap. The gun victory lap of the Rock Hard. And we'll see if the guns will bring more gold to Bullet Club Gold legitimately. At the zero hour of AEW full gear. As Juice tosses Brent over the rope. November 18th, AEW full gear. Usually my preview of the year, but now I have to put World End up against that. Speaking of my match year candidates, we still have, of course, MJF to defend the AEW World Championship and his streak against the standard bearer, Kenny by God Omega. The most anticipated main event. When it was when it was first announced, on free TV, my dad, on free TV. And here's our latest video package once again. The same video package last night from AW Rampage for those that watch a hell of an hour of pro wrestling last night. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. You talk about both these men. You talk about the rise of Maxwell Jacob Friedman. You talk about the establishment that is Kenny Omega. What MGF has done this year alone, outlasting the Pillars, out-wrestling Brian Danielson in an Ironman match, main eventing the biggest event in wrestling history against Adam Cole. If but also, Kenny Omega, there is no telling where MJF can go. And that, in Kenny Omega's reign, is 346 days. And within that reign, he has held the AAA champion, the AAA I, championship he's held the impact championship it was on one of the best runs in aew as the belt collector 
If MJF can beat Omega, that will solidify him as the longest reigning AEW world champion. And to do it before Kenny Omega's uh, reign, as in 346, unbelievable. Impossible. But if MJF can get it done, you can't doubt the man anymore. Not like to say you have, but you can't even doubt him as basically of where his reign can go. Again, nobody's on the level of the devil, but can MJF surpass the best belt machine, the cleaner, the belt collector, and the former AEW world champion? It is the devil versus the one-wing angel. It is the generational talent versus the guy that is the pinnacle of professional wrestling. MJF, Kenny Omega, AEW World Championship. First time ever singles encounter. Less than an hour away, bitch. Three days, 343, Matt. Well, now we got a full commercial. We can actually breathe a little bit. I'm actually just going to put this up on demand on YouTube secretly for the ATW fan to go look back at our highlights. And maybe I'll just put it up on YouTube just because. I don't know. This is fun. <laughs> Well, I mean, again, so far, Bullet Club Gold, they have owned literally nearly the first 30 minutes. And again, Jay White still holds possession of the Triple B. But will that be the last we see of Bullet Club Gold tonight? I think that still remains unclear. Same with <clears throat> Don Callis, because let's not forget, because Don Callis already tried to recruit MJF. And we all know Don Callis still has his, you know, desire to get rid of Jericho and Omega, especially Omega, and get rid of the E in AEW. So, I think we'll see Don Callis here in play as well. Yeah, as we saw at the end of that video package last night at Rampage, Jay White saying good luck to you, and if you want to face a real elite champion, I'll be waiting. As Don Callis, to your point, was talking about what he and MJF could do, and MJF blew him off. And, of course, there's no love lost. Whip switch by Jay White and Kenny Omega. Let's not forget, it was switch by Jay White that took the IWGP United States Championship mm -hmm. away from Kenny Omega when Kenny Omega first won the title. Mm hmm. These two share these two go way back. Even when Kenny Omega was the leader of Bullet Club and he wanted to bring unity and he wanted to bring in the Switchblade. But of course, Switchblade turned him down because he didn't want to be a part of Kenny Omega's Bullet Club. He had his own vision for Bullet Club. And at the end of the day, it's hard to argue what that man said was 100 percent fat as everything he did basically came true. It's everything just an after effect because Switchblade Jay White made it happen that is still up for debate to this day when you consider everything he's done since being bullet club's leader mm-hmm so it was like whatever jay white says whatever he proclaims whatever he says and he promises most of the time it fully goes through well, we'll see again if his fruition of Bullet Club Gold really rough shot in AEW comes fully clear at full gear. Again, right now the main event still stands. MJF, the current champ, defends the gold against Switchblade Jay White, who currently possesses the gold. Stolen property, but again, possession is nine tenths of the law. And we still have to always consider in the back of our mind the devil you know versus the devil you don't. Who is the devil right now? And is he maybe on another level that even MJF is unaware of? You think about how many people he has history with in an AEW, before AEW, outside AEW. Names have been thrown around everything from Richard Holiday from MLW, if y'all remember the Dynasty and Alicia mm -hmm. and their run there, from mm -hmm. freaking CM Punk, which is the farthest thing out of the room. Ooh, that's a long ever. stretch. Yeah, right. And... Ah, fuck. We got a very nice, very evil vignette once again for Dunhausen. Yeah, love that Dunhausen. Ay, ay, ay. This freaking goob. Uh, Dunhausen. Yes, Dunhausen. Love that Dunhausen. Dunhausen. Yeah. Sure to come back to. Don't forget, if you have the AEW fight forever again, make sure you download the Hookhausen pack because I am pointing that pack with along with Hook. Uh, very handsome, very evil. Happy, happy Halloween, humans. I'm a curse. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Dead housing. Damn it. All right. Well, as we get back to collision. With Halloween right around the corner. Everyone get your Dan housing mad. Get your Dan housing get up. Uh, it me. To Lexi Nair. What's she with? And there's Ryan Nemeth. Hey, the Hollywood hunk. 
big surprise. All right. Green beans. Okay. I can manage. I was say the last thing you were big for was the three piece sax band leading you out to the ring with the wingman. Who would you? What? Who you brought? Dude, whoa! Hold the phone. Phone. That is CJ Perry's locker room. Yep. Okay. Bold. You better hope Miro's not behind that door. Uh, as you were saying. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Remember uh, what the Redeemer said to protect the one woman. That is his greatest temptation. Oh, wow. oh no. And we're about to have a Fright Night fight. Oh, Lord. Yep. Well, I don't oh, God. I don't think we're going to see Ryan Nemeth anytime soon, and I think you may be seeing the last. <laughs> I'm going to see this title right here pretty soon. Sheeta, oh boy, holy Sheeta, good luck. Abaddon's back, your worst nightmare realized. From day one on Dark, when Abaddon first collided with the Shining Samurai, Hikaru Sheeta still has nightmares to this day about that lick and about that. And I have a feeling those same nightmares that happened in 2020 of dark will come into fruition here tonight in Connecticut as Abaddon still creeps me out to this very day. As she should, damn it. And I saw her lot. Oh, boy. But here comes the way of the warrior, the first time, the first three-time AEW Women's World Champion. Oh, a different look for Hikaru Shida yeah. tonight. Oh. Hmm. What is she channeling here? As you know, she has a huge lover of cosplay. Literally has dressed like Keep a Lockhart, of course, from the Final Fantasy series. Oh, my my friend Kevin gonna go goo goo gaga over this one. I'm pretty sure he's about to send me a message here as soon as we go off here. And shout out to your own, <laughs> shout out to your fan there. <laughs> and the three time AEW Women's World Champion winning her third title. Against Soraya. Yep. Oh, and boy. she and it, like, let's and let's not forget Lumen in the Wings is a timeless one. Well, whether she will challenge either Abaddon or Sheeta for that title at full gear. But um uh, oh man, it's Abaddon versus Sheeta three. Yeah. Oh boy. The rains are underway. Well, at least Aubrey Everett's not the official here. We are talking about Sheeta, though. She is one of the most people strikers in the game. And Abaddon might literally have the mind games here. I, will, I ain't going to doubt Abaddon's mind games here. How can you ever? It looks like she is not even dressed great to compete. She almost looks like she's dressed for like a night out on the town. Almost like going to espionage agent style here. Oh, no, God! Mm. Oh, boy. Remember, she took oh. a chunk out of Kikara Sheeta before. Let's not forget that. Oh, well, how can I forget? And she had up front off the ropes, and Abaddon taken down with the shoulder block. Uh, Abaddon just rose up. Oh, so, she, boy. She, uh, oh, this ain't good. boy. Yeah, she, uh, um, this ain't the same Abaddon that was from uh, three years ago. Okay, let's get that out of the way right now. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. This is not the same Abaddon that we saw three years ago. What is she got a skeleton bone and she got a tombstone? Oh, bone beats tombstone. <laughs> well, that's how you break a grave, I guess. <laughs> All right, that's her name, and she off the ropes. Nice drop, Duck kick. She got a don. I still see she sporting those split leg, like, split toed uh, boot shades of Hayabusa. And how is she wrestling that? That's in it's beyond me. Again, I mean, you're a 16-year veteran. You know how to work your way around a uh, different attire. You also got to be ah, adapted to any opponent. Hey, you, saw her, nah, you saw her overcome hey. her teacher, Emmy Sakura, once again, successfully retaining the title. And, of course, mm -hmm. overcoming Ruby Soho most recently. Get him that for it by the runaway. 
Big drop kick out of the corner, kick. missile drop kick. That says Abaddon outside the ring. All right, Abaddon down. What's Sheeta going to do here? Oh, wait. Oh, gonna... wait. oh, no. The mind games. The mind games, Noah. The mind games. Oh, Where is she? Where's Abaddon? Where the hell is she? Where what? is she? Sheeta! Sheeta! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Grab her out the ring. Uh, oh, man. Uh oh. oh. Sit Abaddon back to the nether realms, I guess. I mean, Mortal Kombat 1 did just come out. <laughs> <laughs> well, where'd she go again? Oh, there she is. She's literally living a horror. And there's Abaddon. Oh, I caught him with a right. What this, is, this, is a, this is a real-life horror movie in a wrestling ring. Now, forget your saws. Just watch Collision. Well, let, let's not give Abaddon ideas what you got <laughs> trash can lit. Oh! And Waylay, she does back. And this Fright Night fight will continue in TNT in Restaurant Quality. Picture in picture. Oh, as, I now, as I now, as I now, as I now learned that bones can break tombstones. Keep that in noted. All right, that's there. Big Poppy, a nice short range code breaker there by Abaddon. Is it enough here? Floats over in the cover too. No, oh, two count only. Of course, Abaddon, I'm sure, not surprised here for those that don't know. Abaddon been doing heavy work on the independent scene of mm -hmm. things, including with Kid Bandit. So to come tonight, like you said, Samoa Joe defends his dominant Ring of Honor World TV Championship reign against Rhett Titus, a former Ring of Honor television champion in his own right. In fact, Rhett Titus lost the title, as we know, to Minoru Suzuki. And who beat Minoru Suzuki for that title? None other than Samoa Joe, who hasn't lost it since. The king of television will grace our presence. Yeah. And his road to dominance, back to the AW World Championship, continues tonight. Speaking of dominance, Dax Harwood looks to dominate after the break of stocks. And one-on-one -on -one action still to come later tonight. Good grief almighty. Oh, and again, clubbing shot with a bone. And she's not hitting a silophone. She is hitting Sheeta's back. And Sheeta, tip for tat, or bone for bone. Whack for whack. I was about to say that. <laughs> all the madness, all the madness, all the madness here on the ATW View Impromptu. Simply reacting special for AW Collision tonight. Suplex from Abaddon oh. on there. And again, cover. Abaddon back in control, floats in the cover. That is terrifying. Just alone, that middle game there, two count only. I'm going to say the middle game, Abaddon's been winning the middle game. Well, again, Sheila's been challenged her whole career, but to say she's been challenged by somebody like Abaddon, very, very rare. This isn't Ghostwire Tokyo, by the way. This is not a freaking yokai or a freaking, you know, evil spirit of Japanese descent. This is just a freaking original, evil, dark, disturbing, scary entity known as Abaddon. Now, so you could come up with a lot of words to describe Abaddon, and those three words just describe oh. her very, very gently. Well, at least she's not a kabuki. <laughs> oh, don't remind me of that name. <laughs> you want me to remind you of the kabuki? Freaking no, great dude. Buddha looks like a stink compared to that. I'm just saying. <laughs> but what do I know? I mean, again... <laughs> oh man, this is fun. I like this. This is fun. This is just the fun. last time I heard that name was the Kabuki Warriors. Remember that? Oh yeah, and of course, as we know, Kyrie Sane <laughs> said Bon Voyage and set sail back apparently to WWE. So Eric might finally get a switch if Triple H is willing to do EO Sky, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane, the true Black Lotus Triad, the true free pillars of stardom, Joshi Pro, Pro Les Lua at WrestleMania. We'll see if that comes to fruition. As right now, WrestleMania, nothing seems to be up for grabs truly yet, except Roman Reigns, who I'm going to say right now, overrated. Yep, he is. And that title is just head. nothing but a prop. At this point, he's just a figurehead for WWE because they have nobody else in that spot. Meanwhile, you got six different people right now that MJF can literally give that spot to if he <laughs> wants to. And we are back. The AW Women's World Championship on the line. Hit Carl Sheeta and Abaddon in a Fright Night fight. There's a so headbutt from a, Abaddon to Sheeta. And so far, we've seen a trash can, a tombstone, and a uh, bone. And again, Sheeta, you realize your arm is in the grips of Abaddon. Gotta keep that in the back of your head. Abaddon, oh, what a oh. high, what a what a high knee that was. Abaddon's first match again was against Akash Sheeta in her debut out of freaking AEW Dark, coming to us from the Colorado area. Shout out to Bree Nut Butter. I mean, I've heard of Wicked Witch of the West, but I guess I'm about to hear Wicked Witch of the East. And Sheeta going to go up top. There is nothing wicked about it, Carl Sheeta. How dare you? But you might cast a spell on Abaddon before this night's over. Ride the broom! 
Nobody there. Oh, no. <laughs> See that kid? Double close line. Ah, that close line. I'm not sure you got the worst of that, though. Me neither. Seemed uh, equal to me. Awkward landing there by both champion and challenger as Abaddon rolls uh, against the outside of the ring. Hello, and here we go. Back to the mind game. Did she, did she go underneath the ring, or is she freaking just looking for something? Well, uh, oh, uh, she went under. Uh -oh. She went under. I don't think she is going to like what she sees if she probably And there's a baseball bat. Coming up from the grave with a baseball bat that's literally lined with that. Batter, Batter up. up. <laughs> oh. That was a oh, single. Let me kind of be proud. The waist lock. Oh, oh, oh. Choke baseball. Oh, we got a choke here. Sleeper hold of some sort with a baseball bat. Hey, and they're legal. Legal. It's legal. And they're with the baseball bat. Taking the bat out of Abaddon's hand. Uh, oh. Oh, boy. So again, the dead face, Abaddon. This is something worse than the walking undead. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, she spent oh, she spent up blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Well, I don't, want to, I don't want to know what's coming out of her mouth, dude. I'm getting a little bit freaked out here. Abaddon, you get oh, a little bit freaked out? I'm getting a little bit more past freaked out. Oh, God. Runs the lariat, goozles her shoulders down. Two count only. Oh, that, yep, that was blood. That that was uh, blood. Again, Abaddon right now just whirling away at the shining samurai. Looking to take the shine from Sheena. Roll. roll up, roll up on the broom for a two. Oh, what a kick. Oh, God. Yeesh. There, nope, moves away the broom. I guess she doesn't want to use it. Oh, to the middle turnbuckle. Again, Abaddon right now in the dominant position. You want, want, it, it, want some candy? Well, it is Halloween. This is Halloween. We got neon. We got double bubbles. We got some trolls, sour gummies. <laughs> the sweetest fish. My mom's favorite can candy candy. Hey, what you got against sweetest fish? I got nothing against sweetest fish. Oh, about? on the candy. Oh, <laughs> Blockbuster! Candy Breaker cover two! No! Whoa! I never thought I'd see a candy spot in wrestling, but I've seen it all, I guess. And we just called it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! No! No! Oh, we got a pumpkin! Pumpkin and Kendo! Let's see who wins! Whoa! Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! Try to gore her. Point. Great Abaddon. <laughs> fell into the but Abaddon sat up. Abaddon, <laughs> Whoa. No. no. She just can't believe it. Big jack-o'-lantern. Uh, That's a big old jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> and, uh, just got in the Katana! Katana with a pumpkin! Cover! Do good night to this Halloween ghoul! I ain't gonna lie, that was fun! That was a fun AW Women's World Championship match! That was fun! That was definitely full of tricks and treats indeed as Hikaru Shida continues her raid as the AW Women's World Champion. That's a win for Shida. <laughs> Whew. Good grief. Timeless! Oh, <laughs> there she is! Oh, Lord. We're about to get timeless in Connecticut! <laughs> the timeless one has graced our presence! You gotta be quiet because I don't use anything else. Tony Storm is here! She's on a Hollywood homecoming! The quest for gold and full gear! And she will take on the champ, Sheena, in Los Angeles, where the, the Hollywood hell? stars are made. Oh, hello, Tony. Ay, ay, ay. What is that you eat? Oh, that, what is that? Is that an aunt? Oh. Sheena retains. That is, that is phenomenal. And a timeless encounter awaits. That is, that is a phenomenal shot. And I don't mean that in an AJ Styles way. That is a phenomenal shot. Do, cameraman, do your uh, job. Brother. Oh, there you go, Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. 
Uh, let's go backstage as we prepare for Ricky Starks and Dax Harwood, FTR, after that uh, timeless timepiece that I'm sure everyone's going to turn into a vogue meme, including my friend the King, as a timeless encounter awaits the Karashita as she still holds the AEW Women's World Championship. <laughs> Got out of your system. <laughs> I, oh, I did. I'm glad Luther wasn't there. So that made it even better. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, the quest for gold rose through Hollywood. Oh, my gosh. Ay, ay. Well, again, you're hoping for an absolute classic future presentation with timeless Tony Storm and Carl Sheeta at full gear as we have a singles and Carl Silicon tonight with Jack Harwood and Rick Stark. Hey, what's this? Is this our... Yes. What is this? Is this... What is I mean, this? We're talking, about, we're talking about AEW, which I would argue to say this has been AEW's biggest year to date. Game-changing matches, incredible moments, one of a kind for some encounters. Shot oh. oh. Oh, so we're starting the early promotion of World's End. I like it. The world ends as we know it come December 30th. But how does it change, King, from Long Island, New York, Saturday, December 30th? The last stop of Pro Wrestling 2023. Oof. We will right. soon find out. And, of course, again, that final week, the HW View Impromptu will be back with our year-end special and World's End preview. Probably our longest show to date, and we will go live mm -hmm. with it. So stay tuned for more on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, do I do believe that will be our, like, our longest that we've ever done since we've started this thing. Yeah, I know, right? To think, ATW was born out of AEW during the pandemic. Cindy talked about how pro wrestling saved her life. AEW saved our wrestling passion and our sanity. We're being perfectly honest. Why WWE yes. has gotten better, <laughs> AEW still is our go-to for passion. We don't look at all the backstage nonsense. Nope. Imagine this. If social media didn't exist, what would the outlook of the industry be in 2023? I'm just saying. <clears throat> You're not wrong because we'll get less of the backstage. We'll get more, like surprises. Even with AEW, they still do tend not to bring surprises, but in more of a you got to guess. It's like a hint with Tony. Like he doesn't just come out right away and just do it like, oh, here's an announcement here. And then I mean, or here's a return here or a return there. Like he'll give you those surprises when you least expect it. Like, say, like for instance, Flair. No one saw Flair coming on Wednesday. Yeah, right. Mm. And now we're and now he's here until March of 2024, along with Sting. And apparently he's for the whole rest of the ride, so who knows what that means. Oof. My only con with that, ah, see what this there, con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My only con with that, do not have that man wrestle. Do not. If yeah. if he if he just if he just manages. Like like uh, like with Andrade or manages uh, Sting and Darby tag matches, we're good. Cut a promo here and there, we're good. I mean, even run back to Jay Lethal and Ric Flair woo off, but this time in AEW, I'm pretty sure fans want to see that. <laughs> oh my gosh, the freaking Tony Storm modeling on the announce table. What the hey, fuck? That, that was a phenomenal camera shot. I hope I see it on Twitter tomorrow morning. That was a phenomenal shot. It looked like Marilyn Monroe just coming to 2023. Marilyn Monroe couldn't do it any better if she wanted to. <laughs> and how fitting the quest for gold, the Hollywood homecoming is in L.A. Where all the movie stars, the big movie stars, have come from. It's so yeah. fitting. Yeah, I suppose. All we're just waiting, all we're missing now is a freaking shot over a vent with wind blown up Tony Storm's dress on the Hollywood <laughs> Walk of Fame. Listen, don't give Tony Khan any ideas because that might actually I'm happen sure. on the week of. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen sooner rather than later. The Marilyn Monroe <laughs> comparison calls for it to happen. Am I telling lies? No. No, you are not. You are not. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to pass out the day that happens, too. 
And of course, me <laughs> and JJ will be covering AEW Full Gear and that timeless feature presentation. Just... I'm sure you're going to be at the edge of your seat for. And we're back. Oh, Keith Lee, Shane Taylor. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Again, we talked about history. Let's talk about the history of Keith Lee and Shane Taylor. Pretty boy killers. One of the best Ring of Honor tag teams when it, Ring of Honor was first existing before it got shut down. And then Keith Lee ran off to the black and gold we know of as, as we know of that brought our professional wrestling fandom back in the E while Shane Taylor was on his own doing his own thing. And now here we are. They're in the same company. And we're about to get this. Visit it. Again, Shane Taylor rebuilding Shane Taylor Promotions, recruiting the likes of Lee Moriarty and Tiger Style will be colliding soon enough with Keith Lee. But we know that Shane Taylor and Keith Lee is foretelling. But speaking of Shane Taylor's former opponent from All Out, here comes the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, the King of Television, the Samoa Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. Oh, boy. And look at that strut. That's Bobby Cruz, the introductions. Again, the longest reigning in history. Ring yep. of Honor, World Television Champion. A collegiate singles record of 6-1. and one, Over 520 plus days with the Ring of Honor World TV title. And of course, Samoa Joe's quest for gold doesn't stop with that Ring of Honor World Television Championship as he wants his shot back at MJF. Retired the former Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Like I said, lost it at Super Cup of Honor last year against Minoru Suzuki. And then Joe took it off Suzuki on Dynamite. Shortly after, in April. <laughs> yep. For those that don't know, that's April last year. Bell Reigns were underway. Code of Honor are here, too. That is pretty Sean in Ring of Honor, which you, of course, can catch Thursdays as part of Honor Club, which I watch every yep. week. Same, Maybe yeah. not always when it's first airing, but I always watch Same. Ring of Honor for Andre is real. Because, again, you only have so much time and work and fatigue. It's like watching Rampage. I literally took a nap at 7 p.m. and woke up at 9.55 p.m. just to watch Rampage last night. Oh! Because <laughs> I don't have Fox or FS1. That's smart. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got what, some of those stars and you don't got freaking uh, Mario Wonder and Sonic Superstars, which, of course, I do plan on getting next month. Must I've seen gameplay from that. Oh, I've seen gameplay on that. That's pretty good gameplay. Not bad. I'm usually... I think, I think they're doing both IPs justice. And meanwhile, Samojo... Uh -oh. Ooh! Bang! How does he some... do that? <laughs> that Samoa Joe offense on the corner never gets old. Oh, my gosh. Again, Samoa Joe and Red Titus, no strangers to each Oh, God, that shot. No strangers to one another. Red Titus, formerly a member of the foundation. And up next, of course, will be Dax Harbor for Samson Becker. Star. Wow, look at that of Red Titus up to the top. Nice float over as it goes to the top turnbuckle. And, uh, and of course, the Samoa Joe sway. Move out the way. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not getting paid uh, by the hour here. What What time is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm getting paid by the second to beat my tires up. Oh! Again, you just yeah. literally just like, eh, whatever, do your And thing, speaking right? of that, oh, muscle buster, nope. Uh, my tires fine back, though. He's got to be aware of that sense of urgency. Clubbing shot in the back of the head of Samoa Joe. Oh, Spin here over. we go. My tires trying to get back. Ooh, what a boot. I think like kick. Ooh. But Joe, but Joe has himself. absorbed it. Oh, boy. Oh, You're a noggy. Oh, that is now a Sam. God. Jesus. Coquina. That's it. Night-night. He's got it. Night-night. Immediate tap out. Red Tires knew he was done. Jeez. And it's all over. <laughs> just like that. Still, your Ring of Honor World Television Champion, the King of Television, Samoa Joe. Unbelievable. Who can stop Samoa Joe? Seriously, who can take that title from him? I, I lost that guess. I lost that predictability a long time ago. I got no one now. I really don't. For Daniels, Mark Briscoe, just to name a couple, Dalton Castle. Well, 
All right, well, that's Samoa Joe. Takes his leave. The work is done. And let's not forget, Samoa Joe made a deal. He will watch out for Maxwell Jacob Freeman as long as he gets a rematch in the AEW World Championship. Yep. Of course, Samoa Joe challenged him to up for that title. Second, wait. Well. The QTV, QTV crew. How dare you, Harley? Don't shut for Nathan Cat. Oh no. What? The best thing on TV. They got a new music and a new music video. QT Marshall, of course, still holding that title. Triple A Latin American title. Yep. That's a beautiful title. I ain't gonna hold you. That's a beautiful title, absolutely. I don't know, that's true. I don't know if that's true. Like that. Right. Oh, QTV is back. You're back. Oh, Jesus. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, you're not wrong about that statement, though. Commander, Metalik. Ray Phoenix. Good question. All right. Yeah, Renee looks real. That was a quality interview. So to say. But, I mean, <clears throat> there's a lot of luchadors that can be going for game. Oh, we're about to have an Speaking injury update. Speaking of our competitors, how about this past Wednesday on Dynamite? Boink. Rainmaker! Brian Danielson felt the fourth force of the Rainmaker for the first time ever in Okada with no remorse. He's just basically saying how that felt, bitch. Broken orbital bone. Broken orbital bone. Oh, no. Both of you will pay for what you've done Ooh. to my friends. Damn. Damn. Okada, be in the United States or Japan. Oh. I am coming for you. I will oh. fight you. And I will oh, shit. make you pay. Oh, shit. Orange, that starts with you first. For the international championship. Oh boy. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh boy. I know what I'm capable of. Oh, we know. This title run might be over before it started. Yeah. Oh, and we know what you can do in that ring when you're aggressive like that. Orange, we might see your shortest title reign to date on Wednesday. So this Wednesday oh, boy. Wednesday, it's Orange Cassidy versus Cloud Cassidy. But right now, let's get absolute. Of course, for the revolution, is televised. And my friend Mont just passed out. <clears throat> As we send our speedy recovery wishes to the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. But here comes Absolute Breaker. <laughs> Stocks. One half of the AEW World Tag Team Champions, along with Big Bill. Can you believe that finally Big Bill is a tag team champion? Should have already happened when he was in the E, but I digress with Enzo. Yeah, Just well, saying. Missed opportunity. Tag team titles don't matter in WWE. Tag team wrestling, maybe, but try and do more than just two teams. Bam! 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 Again, Rick and Stocks. Again, Ricky Stark's unbreakable resolve will only his body has given out on him. But he owns what he says he is, and that is absolute. Again, broken orbital bone, though. Again, the Rainmaker has broken baseball bat, so I'm kind of not surprised. And we talk about the best wrestlers of the years. I would argue to say that the best tag team of the year, FTR. But Jack Harwood, Cash Wheeler, coming out to that Brett S. Purple Smoke. Uh, purple? That Brett was pink. Yeah, well, it does look kind of purple when you really look 
Yeah, I mean, you ever, you ever seen like the colors like just blend together? But yeah, you're right. That's definitely more pink. But it does look kind of purple from a distance. It does, it do look like purple. Of course, the iconic heart foundation. Pink. Of course, Ricky and Big Bill smiling. Yes, but they again, know that they're chips. They dude, let's be honest here, dude. They squashed FTR in less than Yeah, they did. They, they did. They an already injured Cash Wheeler and isolated Dax Harwood and won the titles in record fashion. A feat they, that Ozzy Open was unable to do. That did. Uh, oh, why the lights go out? Oh, no. You don't tell me. Uh-oh. It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. What? Uh, what's going on? I don't know. What's going on? I don't know. Wait. Oh. 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 The House of Black are watching on from the audience. They completely disrupted this program. Uh, oh. Ricky. Let's not, forget, let's not forget what happened last week. They came it was around. basically it was basically the House of Black show last week on Collision. And they went after everybody. Buddy Matthews, Brody King, and Malachi Black. The House of Black. I don't blame both of these men one bit looking on the back of their back of their shoulder. I do not blame them because what, what they what we saw last week could come into fruition in this match. But again, we don't know the House of Black's MO at this point. The last time they were here, when they first came back, was they went to war against all of AEW. So again, and is that this the, is House of Black's agenda? And is that the, but is that the same agenda though? Because Malachi went after Danielson, and then when Brody and Buddy came back, well, along with Malachi, they went after the tag division. Again, they are the former AEW Trios champions, by the way, too. They held those titles for 25 weeks after beating the Elite of Revolution. Yep. The longest reigning, most dominant AEW Trios champions in AEW history. How's the black looking on here? Brick is stocks and Dax Harwood. And you know that FTR wants to work their way back up for the titles. Again, they know they don't got a rematch, and they're fine with that. They're going to work their way from the bottom back to the top. And being in Ricky Starks, that's a hell of a first step. Uh oh, and you see Malachi Black standing. But as you got House of Black just basically just idly watching. Yeah, you just got to be aware of that looming presence. Even with a guy like Big Bill and Catch Wheeler out there, how's the black and clearly clean house? Ricky starts great agility here. That's hard with the counter, though. Up kick, though, off the attempted elbow drop. And mm. Ricky starts with his own uh, arm drag here. Con the head there. Center. Escape. Even Con oh. says here, Matt, yeah, Matt game on point by both as Dex finally brings Ricky Starks down. And Dex Very control. good Matt wrestling at its finest right here. But, I mean, when you channel the all-time greats, like the Heart Foundation, like the Midnight Express, like the Rock and Roll Express, I mean, you know a thing or two about fundamentals on the match. Yep, and Dex has, learned, has always Dex has mastered that. Oof. I'll even go further and say British Bulldogs. Let's not forget FTR won against the rivals, the Young Bucks, at the Bears of Band Wrestling History in Wembley Stadium. And even yeah. though the Young Bucks have a chance at the A double championships anytime they want, it's almost like they're an afterthought right now in this story. And I think that's what the Young Bucks want to do right now, just keep themselves as the afterthought and keep Ricky Starks and Big Bill guessing because currently they are the Ring of Honor World Six-Man cha uh, Champions with the Hangman. So it's pretty much basically Bucks playing, you know, up to the strategy of let's focus on these for now and we're going to call our shot when they least expect it. Nice late drop there. Again, the lateral press by Dax Harwood issues a one count. Again, Tony Schiavone on the table with Kevin Kelly and Nadia McGinnis. HW crew and Bronx 2 here calling the action for you. The first time around a collision. Don't know if this will be a regular thing. On demand, <laughs> maybe we'll do one of these things live, uh, maybe at the anniversary, just because. If I'm not hired by the Jeffrey's Network, both diverse media. Right. Dax Harwood right now up to the top row. Nobody in the oh! zone. I'm not sure if it's going for a splash or a diving head, but either way, crashed and burn on that one, to your point. And Ricky Stark saw the opportunity, and now um, he's capitalized. He's about to go for new school. Yeah. The wrist control and the pull. Oh, there we go. The Ricky Stark. Take a picture, folks. There's new school. Again, looking down at Big Bill. Oh, the hammer in the arm. Oh, I like Claudio Strutt better. <laughs> yeah. 
remember how, how many revolutions is looking stars? He probably still seeing stars last week after that giant swing. Oh, I'm pretty sure he fully recovered. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't for Battle of the Belt, Clark Castle would still be spinning. Right oh, there. Undertaker, escort that leg drop. Oh, man. Again, did he pay for it while he hit it? Again, that still affects your body as well. You saw him grasp the hamstring immediately. Go yeah, he the did. It's a one count only. Oof. Again, Brian Danielson, he went to wars with Ricky Starks in a strap match, Texas death match. And while he won both encounters, Ricky Starks right now is the guy that's still around after apparently Brian Danielson has suffered a fractured orbital bone, courtesy of the Rainmaker, that lariat that has literally broken baseball bats. But of course, the setup was that orange punch from Orange Cassidy. But again, was it the added effect of the orange punch or was it the effect of one versus the other and one just added to it? Again, orange punch... How many times Orange Cassidy used the Orange Punch? I honestly wonder the state of Orange Cassidy's right hand. Suso Okada was coming in that match at 100%. And that was the first time that Brian Danielson ever felt a full Rainmaker. Remember, their encounter at yep. Door, he worked over the Rainmaker arm. That's the first time Brian felt the Rainmaker with full effect. That is true. That is true. I didn't right even now, look at that. And right now, Ricky Starks taking that. Oh, no. Oh. Suplex. Jolly. Mm. Stay with us in picture in picture. Ricky starts in control right now, and the House of Black seems to appreciate this. Wow. Oof. That was an evil smile from Malachi more than anything. Did you expect anything less from that guy? No, I do not. <laughs> All right, as long as we are, you know, just on point with that. You Those are three, mi three menacing men I do not want to be in the ring with. Right? That's Andrade Alibolo about that. Take a look at the replay here. This German suplex. Boom! Snap variation on that ramp leg. No give there. Back That's body drop. In. Messy back body drop. Again, Cash right now. Probably wondering what Dax is doing. As Dax right now fighting on emotion and is making these mistakes because Ricky Starts has been in control right now for the better half of this match. Yes, he has. It's been all Ricky. And again, the House of Black, without Julia Hart right now, Julia Hart is celebrating her honeymoon. Congratulations again to her and Big Shotty Lee Johnson. I saw her post, by the way, in my uh, feed. Shout out to Armbar, Ambia, to Mitch Point, Ricky Starts. I'll press the cover on the leg. It's a two count. And of course, they are celebrating their honeymoon, but also Julia Hart, presently four years to the day in her wrestling career. How far has this young athlete come from peppy cheerleader to indie prospect, and vice versa, to the uncrowned empress of the House of Black and dare I say one of the top two female characters in the industry. And who is TBS championship material right now? Well again we talked about who was more than they fought to the other who really showed more of their potential. Chris Statler continues to show why she is more than woman and more than deserves to be the TBS champion. She welcomes all comers and we wonder now who will step up to Stat because Stat is where it's at. Ugh. Yeah, and it looks like <clears throat> for what happened on Rampage, I believe, when Sky Blue and Willow were interviewed, um, Sky Blue was uh, not just continuing to be herself. And I'm starting to feel like it's Willow not going to turn heel along with her, and it's just Sky Blue herself. And the missile drop came Ricky Starr, still hooking the near leg, two count only. And again, we've seen how the Black Mist has affected people in the past, and why Willow right now does not seem to be heavily affected we have definitely seen newfound levels of aggression out of sky blue to your point with a whole lot less respect mm -hmm. you gotta consider maybe it's this julia hart's long-term plan i mean again she was right about on J. you will end up always being just alone and that definitely seems to be the case especially with don cows trying to recruit the former Fragments of the Jericho Appreciation Society. And apparently, Angela Parker and Ruby Soho might be looking to run away their own way. If you know, that's what I actually, mean. that's I'm about to say, it's actually, that's actually a true, true, uh, how shall I put this? How shall I put this? I found this out on Twitter this morning before I took my nap, and that was that Angela Parker and Ruby Soho are actually dating in real life. Oh, well, there you go. Maybe they're going to use it in storytelling, and maybe it means a different direction for, uh, Ruby Soho, considering at this point the Outcast even a thing anymore since Soraya lost the AEW Women's World Championship. And funny enough, we haven't seen Soraya since she helped Ruby Soho mm -mm. outlast Sky Blue on Rampage to get the title match against Sheeta in the first place. I say, uh, ain't, um, like I said Wednesday, 
Sheeta is the outcast killer because she's defeated Tony. She defeated no, she defeated Ruby. Then she defeated Soraya. She's really the outcast killer. Yeah, and now Tony Storm is timeless, so it's no longer an outcast. She went from outcast illustrious to timeless. And we'll see if a timeless encounter and moment awaits the full gear as we're back here live on collision. And Dad's Harlow might be looking at the Oh the no! Point! Superplex! Got all of but, it! But who got the worst of that exchange? Both men hit hard, both men down to your point. Referee Stefan Smith checking both of them. Take a look at the replay here. Watch the bounce. Whoop! The angst on Dax Harwood's face. Yeah, I think it was Dax got the worst of that one. Again, Ricky Starr still had that leg drop from earlier, so I do wonder how Ricky Starr's vertical is treating him. The seven, both men back up to their feet, though. Oh. So we're going to miss. Dax catches him with the chop. Oh. Again. And another. Oh, it's Swarm. Swarm, swarm smashing chops. A shout out to Tony Giovanni, who now is the lead play by play commentator for Collision. Congrats on winning the Golden Soul there, Roy. Messy rebound off the ropes. Got enough of the close line, though. Ricky Starks did. And Ricky Starks did. Yeah, he did. It. But he's got to stay on Dex with that momentum he's got going on right now. And here comes a double underhook. Might be looking for Roe Shambol. Can he lift Not quite. Roe? That's all we're able to counter. Just yep. the close line again. The jab. Yep. The jab. And the jab. And the jab. The south palm and the right. And the right again. Again, Dax Harwood, right, we whip. know how mean of a striker he is. Inside cradle inside there. Inside cradle, inside cradle, too. No. Ooh, almost stole it there. Might be looking for the O'Connor roll. Got it's tight. He got the tight. No. Nope. Whoa. And thrown off in the last possible second. Again, it's not cheating unless you're caught. Close line. Big close line. Six Ricker stocks off his feet. How's the black watching on in anticipation from the stands? Cash Wheeler rooting on his man. Suplex again. Nope. Reversal. Counter. And got Sandy like switch. Big Bill. Big Bill Back elbow. On the outside. Tornado DDT. DDT. No. Second. Counter again. And again, that's Harwood hooking Ricky Starks up. Got him up. Got him up. Got Buster. Hey, Buster. Cover. Two. Two. No. Whoa. A lot left still in the reservoir of absolute freaking stock. Yeah. And again, we got to imagine how much wear and tear has Ricky Stark suffered, especially those wars of Brian Danielson. It's right, suffering man. a lot, but right now it ain't showing as Ricky evaded that as Dax hits the uh, ring post. Ricky right now poised to strike. You see Dax Harwood. He's setting up for the spear. He's got to be looking for the spear. Got to be looking for the spear. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh. Fallen in. Power driver? No way. No way. Oh, my. Power driver. Oh, God. Power driver. Cover. Cover. Hook the far left. And Big Bill coming to the rescue. Cash. see that. I don't know if Cash is magically cleared. I know, that's what I'm saying. He's trying to get in front of Big Bill like that. I don't know about this, Cash. Again, but wait, Stefan might got something to say about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, we got we to gotta consider. Cash is saying, throw Big Bill out. Meanwhile, the match continues. And Ricky Power Star driver! That's a Harbin hook. Power driver is out! One, two. Look at the new leg, too. And no, I got him! He got him! Whoa! Cash, Cash was trying to get there, but only was inches away. Ricky Starks again taking the opportunity and finding a way to win, courtesy of assist by Big Bill. His insurance policy. Again, Big Bill. Uh, hold that thought. Oh, no. Well, let's go out again. That's not good. Oh, She's no. back! She's back! What? Uh oh. We haven't seen her since Wrestle Dream. Not at all. And now that yeah. the House of Black are back in full force, and here they are. And they're the ring. Uh oh. Okay, they're gonna attack the champions, or they're gonna attack FTR. What's the mo here? FTR. 
Oh, man, they turned around. It looks like they set their... What? Huh? Oh, my goodness! It's LFI! It's LFI! Roosh is back! Preston! Jalisti Cole! Look fast at the mm. Anomalies! It's a full-on army! And FCR is stuck in the middle of it! What the hell is happening here? What is going on? Oh. Oh, whoa. FTR is not looking good right now. It is Man. not looking good. Like Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What the hell? <laughs> the, the House of Black are being attacked by LFI! And the chat says are along the old melee as FTR attacks when he starts a big build. Oh, hell is broken loose at a collision. It's a damn war zone! This is basically, this is tag team trio war zone. That's Big Bill and Ricky Starks that are escaping. The and LFI and is and back. FTR stands hard in the middle of the ring. Fending off the tag champs and the House of Black. Are you kidding me? Who would have thought that? Off. No one. Hey, Wednesday, we didn't, Wednesday wasn't surprising. And that drags on to tonight with Collision as the return of LFI joining forces with FTR. And I face to face with former AEW World Tag Team Champions. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Strength in numbers, respect. What the hell does all this mean? I thought I'd seen everything up to this point tonight, King. LFI is back. Roosh, Jalistico, impressed in. Speaking of a former LFI. Oh, boy. Offering you a business proposition. And just now we saw the return of LFI's Nunavut. Yeah, about to say Andrade, very strong history of Roots, particularly. Right. Nobody else. Nobody else? You on your own? Okay. Andrade, a businessman, all of his own. No. Uh, so he doesn't want so basically he doesn't want nothing to do with LFI no more well regardless uh, tranquilo wow House of Black Rick and Starks and Big Bill fended away by FTR and freaking Los Granados de Faction what the hell just happened <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine because of the fact that I did not see that coming. And like I said, Wednesday surprises has drug, drug it on to Saturday surprises with the return of LFI joining forces with FTR. And again, Collision proves to be standout from Dynamite because who would have thought you see these people show up tonight? I mean, we knew the return was coming. It was just basically how. How was LFI going to come back? And... Boom! Here we are. But well, my knowledge, though, I don't think that Los Fazio Monopolies have any bad blood or any collisions with the House of Black. They have it, but but now that I think about it, with that Andrade promo backstage, I mean, he did have history. He did have, you know, with the House of Black, with Buddy and Brody and Malachi and even Julia, for that matter. So I wonder if. Roosh is kind of taking that, basically saying, you know, you had history with Andrade, so now his business become my business, but, you know, Andrade being a businessman that he is, and he needs in his business for himself. Well, all I know is, again, we have a lot to think about after what we just saw here and how that's going to affect Full Gear, and Julio Hart also is back, so Chris Statlander may want to watch for six. Because I'm pretty damn sure that Julia Hart is not done going after the TBS championship. And again, what is the House of Black's MO? What is the House of Black's agenda? And more importantly, how is that right now affecting Los Fashions and Gobernables? Ah, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. I mean, a lot to AW. <laughs> AW continues to keep you guessing, keep you guessing. And that's what I love about it. Well, that's one of the reasons why we love professional wrestling in general. It's far more unpredictable, it seems, at times than sports entertainment. 
sports entertainment. It's sports, sports entertainment. Look, I look, I, I, I like a taste once in a while, but it's still heavily underwhelming. Oh, you dumbass, not heavily underwhelming. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Like, I'm not trying to go Matt Menard here because my headset will fly off. Oh, man. Right man. You almost went Daddy if Magic. I, if, I, if I have to tell you what keeps me going as a fan, don't think I won't propagate on it. <laughs> you don't have uh, to yeah, tell yeah. me twice. I already know. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> okay, there's a reason why I call every damn show imaginable. Mm-hmm. It really is. Uh, yeah, but there's also a reason why there's a certain level of excitement brought out in some shows versus others. Just saying. Ain't that the truth. And that goes into any show in the professional wrestling I mean, you know, every show has Oh, what, was I gonna, what did you just talk about earlier? I mean, that's, that's where it's at. So, where's yours, Jim? Thank you very much, Lexi. And yes, I did want to talk. I wanted to talk about what happened in that four-way match last night on Rampage because yeah. people had a great yeah, let's talk about that. title match that happened tonight. And yet, neither one of you were in it. So whatever's going on between you two, we need to settle it now. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. really love Stu and I love Teresa Cheater tonight. And um, I think we both, Sky, stood a chance of winning. But, but more than anything, I felt this like tension between us and it just keeps growing. Yeah, there's other. a little tension here being and seen. Ever since we both got missed with Julia and her spookiness, um, something's been getting even worse with you. And she's back tonight. So maybe we should address this. Anything that I have to say to Julia is between her and I. Duh. Between her oh. and I. Okay. Oh yeah, she did. He went there. Wait, wait, Claudio? On the phone. What's Claudio Castanelli doing here? Wait, a match? Warm up. Oh boy, well, I feel sorry for whoever his opponent is because he is mad, mad, and mad. Oh yeah, that is a stern <laughs> look on Claudio. I have not seen it a long damn time. No, I haven't either. And it's really dangerous when Claudio is in that zone. And when he's that mad, I feel sorry for whoever's in that ring with him. And who are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, Tracy. Oh, not hot sauce. Oh, no. Tracy. That hot sauce is about to be spilled here because there's something far more spicy than him in the ring right now. Jesus. You can't even say anything. You just freaking suck. Why don't come off screen and blast the man? He might win me a knockout. Oh, Rainmaker. God. I call that a Swiss maker. I guess that's a Swiss maker. That's a message to Okada if I haven't seen it. Uh oh. Oh, God. Now, here we go. Um, neutralizer incoming. No, oh, never mind. Oh, the master of the uppercut. uppercut. Cover two. Good night. Well, both both Rep Titus and Tracy Williams had took falls tonight. <laughs> and again, oh, wait, like Claudio's not done. He's not done. LaBelle! LaBelle lock! Oh. <laughs> That's a message sent right there by Buffalo Combat Club. Orange, you're first. Okada. You're going to be next. Drop Tracy faster and you can say hot sauce. Oh, boy. Yeah, uh, Mike Posey. Raise his hand before he Swiss uppercuts you. Well, coming up next, the AEW World Championship is on the line. Maxwell Jacob Freeman versus Kenny Omega. You see both champion and challenger warming up. And, bro, oh, you realize what time it is, right? They're giving these guys over 30 fucking minutes. Oh, we're about to have a 30-minute classic, ain't we? Yes, oh are, boy. <laughs> oh. 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 Joe. Uh, do you want some Joe as your friend, Mac? I'll tell you what, you find yourself in a bad place tonight. You just got to scream my name. 
Samoa Joe with some so encouragement and a suggestive uh, offer. Woof. I mean, Joe's not lying. That is a dangerous opponent that M. Jeff is about to face. Not only a dangerous opponent, but a best bout machine, a cleaner by God, Kenny Omega that he's about to face for the first time ever. That is no stranger I to... MJF, I just said MJF doesn't have enough pressure on him right now. I'm just saying. If MJF doesn't beat Kenny Omega, sorry to say, the rest of what he's done prior to this point will mean nothing. It won't. It really won't because he's done all this work as champ, but to fall short, if that were to happen tonight, it won't mean nothing that he has done within that 340-day, 343 day rank. It won't mean nothing. Yeah, it won't. It absolutely won't. And again, this collision, again, collision, my God, is the show of the week. This collision has been absolutely freaking amazing. Jesus, Claudio killed hot sauce. Fast, you can type hot sauce on your phone. That was barbaric. I, I, you say barbaric. I felt like I witnessed a, um, a crime scene or something. Tracy didn't get a chance to hear his name be called before he got uppercut into oblivion. And then just, just Swiss makers in this case. It wasn't even just typical ripcord lariats. It was basically Swiss makers. Oh, man. This show has been absolutely incredible. And this is oh. why Collision on Saturdays continues to be the standout yeah, of exactly. AEW. Exactly. All right. Well, we're on a full commercial break, so now we get a chance to just, uh, you know, breathe and think. So we will see what happens here soon enough with these two. First time ever. One-on-one -on -one encounter. I still cannot believe that. And Four these years. Guys are day one. Day, strike that. Day zero. AEW. Yep. They were both at that independent show. The MGF yep. that was absolutely known as a nobody. And the yep. absolute person that was known, Kenny Omega, taking out this Penta. Just yep. got. And now look where we are. And look, look where we are now. For the first time ever, these two about to meet. I still can't believe that's actually that's I still can't believe that's actually a thing that these two have never fought, have never wrestled each other in a ring together until now. Yeah, right. And it goes to show you that, and I'm glad my friend B. Mac pointed this out on Twitter, that these two, that this match could have been on a World's End pay-per-view. Yeah, it could but have. It's on, it, but it's on collision. It shows you how deep this roster is on the yeah. men's side. Well, also, though, again, people be like, why would you do this for free TV? This is a pay-per-view marquee main event match. I, I, I get that. But not everything has to be on pay-per-view. TV nope. can be quality, too. And TV can be above quality sometimes. And yep. that's the challenge that Tony Khan chooses to take with AEW. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. I, I'm just calling it. Do I agree with it? Not really, because I do think the biggest money matches should be safe for pay-per-view. But still, sometimes you can't do everything on pay per view. Get done now. Here we go. It's made of in time. For the first time ever. In oh my. I haven't Whoa. seen this look in a while. Oh. This is a big one, bro. He brought all the stops tonight. I have not seen Omega in this look in quite some time. Mega with the throwback. And of course, we got good old JR on the call as he should be. Wait a minute. You notice something with the colors and what he's wearing? Yes, the Brett colors. He's Brett the Hitman Hart. <laughs> this is Kenny the Hitman Omega tonight. Shout out to the as, we got the, the as we got the legend, the GOAT, JR on the call with Tony and Nigel. As he should be, damn it. Oh, oh, dang, Kenny. He stopped. Look, oh, he stopped for a bit because he dropped the, the tick of the jacket. <laughs> Bye. Dang, Kenny. 
He knows that he fucked up. That's the guy holding the classic NXT championship. Oh, back. yes. We are NXT black and gold, but I say this NXT is better. It's still not Bang. The cleaners in the ring. But here the come the champ. The opposition. The devil has arrived. And our current AEW world champion, a bearer of the Triple B, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. He has to stake his claim that he truly is better than you, and you know it, to not only continue his incredible run, but also finally take the throne as the longest reigning AEW world champion in this company's history. Yes, yes, he does. And we are about to have a 30 minute match right here, folks. Buckle up, hope you're seated, and hope you relax because it's about to be. Showtime. That's we're about to have Dasha Fuentes with the announcement, with the introductions. Come on, Dasha. Big match feel. Referee Paul Turner, a senior official. There we go. Give me that dynamic lighting. Oh, big match feel. Big fight feel. Two hundred twenty pounds. Kenny Omega, longest reigning WWE champion, three hundred and forty-six days, but a singles record this year of four and two. This is professional wrestling. And of course, also still one half of our AE, our Bring Up Honor World Tattoo Champion. Mm hmm. The Devil Champ. With a harder work ethic than Roman Reigns is your. Oh, sorry. That's M out loud. J. M. J. F. 343 days. Three days. Bitch. That's but all. Can he get, but, it, MJF. but can he get that done against Omega? Bell rings, let's go. Here we go. This is the biggest match in the history of AEW Collision. Arguably the biggest match in AEW history. The first time that these two have ever met in AEW. Day one, better yet, day zeros. Here we go, Omega MJF. It can't get no bigger, no better than this on a collision for your Saturday night. And take notes, WWE. People from other companies can actually showcase their property. Just saying. Dickheads. Waste <laughs> lock, waste wrong. lock, standing switch. Hey, I'm going to call it as I see it. WWE got blinding vision, okay? That's why they are the freaking money hog that they are. Advertising the United States title with Pizza Hut and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They undermine pro wrestling. And I dare somebody to argue. Even with Triple H now at the helm. They always will be under the pro wrestling bubble, outside of it, versus AEW, Impact Wrestling, Stardom, NWW, Ring of Honor, any other company. Well, they right now, the entertainment juggernaut. AEW right now is professional wrestling. I would say one of their top three leaders. It is, and I agree with you on that. As we're seeing that is being a I prime example with um, MJF and Omega with some great counter technical wrestling with the standoffs. Stalemate there in the early going. Of course, Kenny Omega has gone up to 30 minute draw. This match, of course, has a 60 minute time limit. Has gone to a 30 minute draw against the likes of Brian Danielson. Still on his business there. Brian Danielson get well soon. And the next break, by the way, will only be 90 seconds. Both the as Bo as this Connecticut crowd is chanting, both these guys. It's 1A and 1B in this company, King. It is Kenny Omega and Maxwell Jacob Friedman. You even say it yourself. Kenny Omega, the former belt cutter, former Impact, TNA, AAA, AEW, world champion, current champion, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, who won the title last year, AEW, full gear. And speaking and of MJF, man, that's Strut. Profiling and strutting like the dirtiest player in the game. Who I still can't believe is with this company until March of next year. <laughs> Drop down by MJF. Now Kenny Omega picking up speed. MJF up and over. Good. Oh, nice cartwheel from, from the best belt machine. Again. again, we all know the agility of Kenny by God Omega. Oh, nice. Let's see how to run my blade counter, too. Oh. Side headlock take now. 
Headlock scissors. Body scissors. Head scissors. scissors. Side headlock attack that again. Head scissors. Oh, both can pass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. MJL saying this close. This close. Roman Reigns wished he could wrestle like this. If he was to ever wrestle like this, he'll get exposed real quick, real fast. Good point. He may be the he may be the best movie star. He is not the best professional wrestler. MJF telling the crowd, quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. Yeah, man, MJF right now. What, what, sportsmanship? Sportsmanship, check. Of course, sportsmanship, King. Sportsmanship, sportsmanship. sportsmanship. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, again. Sportsmanship. He, wait, come on, come on. This match deserves sportsmanship. <laughs> we all deserve a little bit of sportsmanship. We, we do, we do deserve that. And, and Kenny's like, okay, why not? Well, I mean, will he shake the handle? That's the thing. And he did. There it is. There you go. And there it is. <laughs> That's the scumbag that we all know. <laughs> well, he is our scumbag, King. As his elbow pass says, record breaker. Well, Will that come to fruition after the when, once the bell hits the once that uh, referee's count hit three? MJF picking up speed off the top rope though, and MJF. Oh, oh man, face. Uh, the oh, oh, Noah, oh. you know what to do. Oh, yes, I do, brothers. MJF right now is in the zone, and Kenny Omega picks up speed, zero to hundred for the other side of the ring as he bounces off the rope. <gasps> Kenny Omega, rise, rise off the Terminator. An AW collision, incredible offense demonstrated by the best bout machine, Kenny Omega. Wait a minute! MJF Spaceman Man punch him! What the hell? MJF over the top of the front bag flop! How? MJF is pulling out all the stops. That's what you're going to have to do against Omega. You're going to have to pull out all the stops in order to defeat, not if, well, not only if, but one of the best professional wrestlers in this generation. And again, Ken Omega got all the rides to terminate. Edge up immediately follows up, though, perfectly executed frog break flop. Ken Omega now to the top rope, though, almost lost his footing. MJF looking up, and meanwhile, catching him with a crossbody. Big bounce off that, too. MJF back to his feet, though. I thought MJF was about to catch him at first with that. And, and apparently, he was unable to. Again, that's a lot of violence. Ooh, here we go. Course, up and over, Kenny Omega. Oh, 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 oh. Backbreaker over the knee. Cover. Turn. No. Whoa. Yeah, and Jeff, this is really your biggest test to date. And Jeff has to realize what he's in the ring with. Again, though, that backbreaker, though, is pinnacle, pun intended, when it comes to Maxwell Jacob Freeman's game. And right now, wearing down the cleaner. In the sleeper hole of sort. MJF planting Kenny Omega down on the mat. Again, for those that don't know, MJF is the actual AEW World Champion. Switch J. White has stolen his Triple B. Yep, he has. And if MJF gets through this, he is scheduled to defend that title against Switch J. White at AEW Full Gear. One year ago where MJF won the title off John Moxley and has had his illustrious run since. Of course, MJF, he has already defended the title against Ricky Starks at Winner is Coming. He has defended it against Brian Danielson in an Ironman match, some called the greatest Ironman match of all time. He has defended against the Pillars, Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, Jungle Boy, Jack Perry, defended the chance against Kenosuke Takeshka in an Eliminator match, defended it against Adam Cole in a chance, 30-minute draw, and defended it against Adam Cole at Wembley Stadium, and it runs down a high at the Forbidden Door. Uh, he might have left his hurt his left arm that time, though. Oh, under and of course, oh, oh. Offer, and of course, offer Ash, he successfully defended against Samoa Joe. Uh oh, got him. Oh, hammer lock. DDT cover. Turn. No. No way, Jose. Oof. Yeah, that was a hammer lock DDT spike, too. Exactly. Short range. Compressing the vertebrae. Already worked over from that backbreaker earlier. On the far leg, two and a half. MJF. No. No. Okay. I'm no. On your shot, but this is not wise, young man. Oh, boy. Yeah, you are oh, not going to trigger Kenny Omega. 
Snap Dragon! An impact of that snap suplex. Full note. Whenever you take a snap dragon from Kenny Omega, you know it's going to be high. You know it's going to be high impact. Look at this replay. And watch again. <laughs> Send me the hook. Dash. Awkward landing. High on the shoulder blades. But there's no timeout to the wrestling MJF. You know that. Kenny Omega with two of the heaviest hands in the game. Bringing that MMA background into play. Kenny Omega nope. throwing it here. Just gets denied. Kicks in the midsection. Irish whip reversal. By standing switch. Oh! Went for the standing switch. Was able to oh! Took him out at the knee. And I think I know he's going to Kataru Crusher! Rose, Kataru Crusher! Again, when Kenny Omega gets in that mode, cover. Tell him the new leg. And two count only. When Kenny Omega gets in that mode, it is hard to slow him down. It, it's just think it, it, it really is. Because when he's going at that pace, barely anybody could touch him. A straight jacket hold right now. MJF trapped in the clutches of Kenny Omega. But he's got a knee compressed to that back a little bit. Now MJF's up to his speed. And MJF trying to reverse the hold. So we're going to get a clean break or we're going to get a dirty break. Let's find out. We have to count, have to count a four here. I'll turn her from position. See if we got a clean break. As you said, it looks like we will. Again, Smojo says MJF needs help. He will be. I expect any call. Big clothesline says MJF up and over to the floor. Woo. Count him. Kenny says count him. Wait. No, he ain't. Hold up. Mega knows what he wants out of the corner. No call. Oh, man. Shout to his golden yep. lover, Kodal Bushi. Yep, Kenny's about to enter that mode. He's about to enter that mode. Oh. Yeah, at the end of the day, MJF is the champion, but Kenny Omega is the championship three holder. Yep. Three days. Kenny Omega, who won the title back at winner, is coming against John Moxley. With the help of Don Callis. AEW. Of course, he lost it to Hangman Adam Page in a story that was three years in the making when it came to the Hangman. And Kenny Omega up on the Boink. top rope and he's able to wear a missile drop kick back in the head. The whiplash effect. My God. Look at the far leg. Is that no two count. No. Jonas were down for a long two count. JR couldn't say anything better than himself. JR Wait. Is he about to go for the UK and escape? You. The you. Can't. Escape. And there's the steamroller. I got the overalls. Up the second row. Knees up. Knees up. Again, how well are these two scouting each other despite the fact that the first time ever one on one encounter? They have scouted each other's playbook. They have scouted each other's moves. They should because they've been in this, they've been with this company for well, they were day zero when the first independent show leading up to this point. And now they've known each other for about five years. So they should know each other's moves and watch each other's tapes. Again, MJF, a student of the game under Lord Regal, has home with the best, including CM Punk, John Moxley, Hiroshi Tanahashi. But of course, in Kenny's case, he's basically wrestled the best and fought the best. The list long. Yeah, in and out of AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, being perfectly honest. Yep. But right now, MJF raining clubbing shots. Arguably right now, if MJF wins this, he would be, I would say, the greatest AEW World Champion in this company's history. And, and we lose some bite. Ah! Cannibalism in Connecticut. They get a bite out of Kenny Omega. I'm not sure how that... I bet that don't taste like poutine, even though he's from Winnipeg. Big <laughs> arm whip. Oh, no. MJF, come on. Don't get flashy. Kangaroo kick and come in. From Canada to Long Island to Australia. MJF is feeling it. But again, MJF taking too much time. Kenny Omega. No, kangaroo the kick. Kick and X. Had a kick the, up. What that, that, that last week was uh, 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 Ultimate Warrior. That time with the foot was Batista like. It looks like MJF looking at dot, dot, die. Pick it up, speed up. Kitchen MJF, sink. Oh, God, kitchen sink, maybe your point. MJF got a little bit flashy there, and Ken Omega beat him to the punch. Cross legs. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my gosh. Get a bit of offense by Ken Omega. Cross leg, cross legs, cover. Two, no. Two count. The net breaker over the knee, Ali Shotai, as Marmonella called it. 
And we know how deep Kenny Omega's weapon fraud goes. And this it is about to show itself right now. Let's see it for real this time, shall we? Nope, because MJF oh. rolled out to the outside to the ring. That's smart. Wait a minute. Oh. Baseball slide drop kick. Oh, boy. Into the announce table. Watch out. As Kenny rolls out to the outside of the ring of his own right. Well, both men know how to take advantage of But this is not a no DQ, so what is Kenny looking for here? I mean, Paul Turner is going to show a lot of lineage, so you know he's going, oh, Oh, no. well, if Connecticut hasn't already chanted, we're about to have some tables. Well, Let's go be, furniture shopping. It wouldn't be a Kenny Omega match without a table. Just saying, I mean, this is literally what Hiroshi Tanahashi called into question. Not only Hiroshi Tanahashi, let's not forget Wrestle Kingdom with Will Ospreay earlier this year. Yeah. And of course, Will Ospreay reclaimed the IWGP United States 99 United Championship against Kenny Omega after being in door. MJF falling in, though, eats his shoulder. Kenny Omega up and Sunset over. flip. Sunset flip. The roll up the cover. No pressure on the shoulders. MJF with the reversal, though. Now, Kenny Omega reverses cover to Woo Boy. Take down there. I would like to take down. Bridge, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, messy, but he was able to bridge enough. Backslide. That backslide, deep backslide, cover two, driving his way, two count again. Power bomb. Buckle bomb. Oh. Buckle bomb. Wait a minute. It's just resort that one. I'm ready up there. Oh, man down. You gotta appreciate this. This is professional wrestling. We are back to ground zero. Champion Man, if I was if I was Tony, I would have made this match commercial free from the way it's going. Yeah, no kidding. Look at this buckle bomb. Buckle bomb, but he absorbed it. Wow. Shannon Hansen or Satoshi Kojima would be proud of that. Oh. No man right now has gained ground. Paul Turner's count up to three. Again, both get count out. MJF will retain the Triple B and will claim the moniker of the longest reigning AEW World Champion. Well, it was count of seven. That's both men onto the uh, corner on the edge of the ring. Uh oh. Fire oh intentions on MJF right here. Well, we all know what MJF can do at the table as well. That's Brian Danielson. Oh. Bumming shot again, though. Big forearm shiver smash. What a neat. Oh, God. Just rocked the man's jaw. Look at Omega's far. face. Omega's face has just changed. Oh, boy. We're about 15 minutes in, and it's pretty evenly matched here, but a snap dragon. Snap dragon? Can he grab no. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Good <laughs> Lord. All goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. He broke the damn man's neck. I swear he did. Holy and now God. look at. Yeah, Omega's eyes have changed the game and the complexity of this match. That was a snapdragon on the apron, King, where nothing but a steel beam braces wood. But Noah, as you see on Omega's face, he's gone to that place. And whenever Omega goes to that place, it gets dangerous from here. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. And a gun Gut wrench. Oh God! No, what Jesus, no! Gut wrench power bomb! No! Power bomb! Oh God! <laughs> Good oh, Lord! God Almighty! That damn might be broken! Smack them down in half! Look at the wreckage! I agree, Connecticut. I agree, Uncasville. Thanks to folks, 90 second best one quality picture in picture. MJF and Kenny Omega both down. MJF might be done. Wow. Both men here, freaking gut wrench friends. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm watching an AEW collision or I'm watching a New Japan Pro Wrestling match. Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> the freaking gut wrench transition into the power bomb. God. <laughs> Good God Almighty, what a problem with the edge to the table. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. you might want to check on him because MJF looks glazed over. I mean, he just whipped through a damn table from the apron. Powerball variation through the floor. That table exploded. Good goodness gracious. Both men are down. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take another look at that, shall we? Yeah, watch the way MJF lands. Watch the MJF lands. Bink! Flush through the middle. Golly. 
Wait. Unreal. Unreal. This is what happens when you challenge the likes of Kenny Omega. The new Japan roots will never go away. And MJF is about to find that out from Omega. Was well, already finding that out from Omega right now. And you see both men somehow getting back into the And we're back, folks. My God, what a main event here. What a match here for the AEW World Championship to call yourself the greatest and the longest champion in AEW history. Both men worse for wear. It once been a near 20-minute clinic. Kenny Omega and MJF both making the way inside the ring. Kenny Omega But, MJF, right but notice how Omega is struggling to get inside the ring while MJF was basically on instinct. Well, again, the reason One more time. To the point, look at this. Oh! And that table hiked up on Kenny Omega on impact. Keep that in mind. Watch the way, again, watch the way he lands. And watch the knee. Ah, oh, that oh. knee kind of buckled. Golly. Look how he's holding it. Look how he's holding his hammy, too. Yeah, exactly. That was an awkward landing. Kenny Omega tells the story better than we ever could with our reaction. Yep. We just witnessed we just witness it and embrace it for what it is, folks. Oh, both men days, batter, bruise, testing each other's wills in this exchange. Overhead shot by MJF. Oh, what a chop. You see the scars on both men's bodies. And the it's taking a toll. Yeah, the fatigue's starting to set in here. Kenny Omega though, trying to fire up here in the jabs. And the jabs. And the jabs of the North Claw. Mm. Right. Oh, man. Stepping into it. Again, though, how much of a vertical base wait, can Omega have? Wait, 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 wait. Oh! oh of course. Game, right? You see MJF, though, clutching his neck, though. We have to watch that. MJF looking to pick up. But a V trigger has right. been met. Rebound. Discus so, elbow. Discus elbow off the V trigger to your point. Wait for the clothesline again. And Kenny Omega touches the clothesline again. MJF. <laughs> Big trigger on the runner! Big trigger! Wait a minute! He's doing something for the one-winged angel! Wait, poison runner! Poison runner! Counter! How the hell did he do that? Oh, Kenny Omega! Wait a minute, though! Poison runner for Omega! Oh, God! How the hell? Unbelievable! We're only about to be ten minutes away right now, folks. This is going to become a classic. I think we're going to get an overtime, honestly, dude. I don't think these men are nearly done with each other. Let's not forget, this match is a 60-minute time limit. Take a look at this. The Poison Rana. Poison Rana. MJF, and MJF but, of course, Omega. Up and runs in into a freaking Poison Rana by Kenny Omega. Now, both men literally clutching each other their necks. Whoa. Just like the game itself, Connecticut is chanting it. Fight forever. A back and forth about here. Again, AW Fight Forever good today from your local retailer, especially this holiday season. Perfect gift for the family. Perfect gift to make somebody a fan or who is already a fan of professional wrestling. Available for all console systems. Like, like a spear spike is. Ran to the elbow strike. MJF. Double stomp oh, to the arm. Got yep. it. Donald, stop. And of course, that sets up for the Fujiwara arm bar, the saw of the earth. Saw of the earth. It's going to win. Wait, roll right, through. Kenny Omega, though, great wear up on the roll through. Wait for a kick again. V trigger, man. Bang! God dropped the man literally face first to the mat. That snap impact with that knee. Oh, Wait a minute. Gosh. Is he about to go for what I think he's about to go for? Exactly. Nope. Oh, and you have counter, though. Arm bringer to the damaged left arm. Pump handle. handle. Wait. <gasps> <Pump handle. gasps> Come on, driver. Get in Japan. Come on. No. Down. Inches, inches away from ready decision, King. When was inches. you? When have you seen MJF pull off a made in Japan in an AEW rink? One other time against Darby Allen at Double or Nothing, and it also yet it's only a near fall. Take a look at this. Oh, God, almost sent him. I got back to Japan with that. Not enough by weight on the shoulders. Yeah, MJF, that you want to, yeah, if you haven't been tested already, you're about, you're getting tested now. And has been tested his entire young career, 26 year generation. Double on the hook. No, not a tiger driver. No. Oh. Oh. Shoulder breaker and a fresh shoulder breaker to a super kick. 
That press kick, actually. Now looking to hook him up. What's this? The counter. Oh! counter. Oh! Great counter move by Kenny Omega. But, of course, that might set up for a stump puller power driver. Oh, God. Stump tip. And Kenny Omega throws the cover. Right Foot on the rope. And MJF finds the foot on the rope. Again, he did a hook a leg. He did a hook an arm. He literally crawled his way into the cover. And we're going to go once again back to restaurant quality, picture in picture, for 90 seconds. Oh my gosh, this is such a damn good match. Both of these men literally tip for tat, move for move. All the stops being pulled out here. For those that don't know, the Pujabar arm bar is when you sit back on the arm and pull it towards you. That's hyperextending the muscles in it. The cross arm breaker is when you sit away from your opponent, lay back, and pull the arm away. Also hyperextending the arm. Both very effective submission moves. This is courtesy of your simple man on commentary. We are ATW. Thank you. Kenny Omega down right now. We got 55 seconds on this pitcher and pitcher king. It is still anybody's game. MDF rolls to the outside. Again, is he looking for a reprieve? Is it instinct? Does he not know where he is? Does he have a game plan at this point? Game plan? I think the game plan went out the window. <laughs> and if I'm being honest, the game plan went out the window. Now it's just based on instinct on what he has to do to beat Omega. Because like I said, you're going to have to wrestle a perfect match or nearly a perfect match with Omega. Especially what we just seen with that gut-rich powerbomb when, when his eyes and the blocked in, when he changes modes like that, that's going down to his New Japan roots. And MJF is experiencing that firsthand. Game plan went out the window. It's basically on instinct of what he has to do. Yeah, and MJF, talk about the career accolades for him at AEW, starting all the way back to beating Cody Rhodes. And my soul. Kenny Omega. Hook and we're back. We are back and once again with this incredible match. Might be oh, oh, my God. Boom. Oh, my God. Buckle ball on the barricade. Yep, here we go. Yep, Omega's back in that mode. He took a little reprieve, but now he's back in that mode once again. Call Kenny Omega's pride in the question. You will pay for it. Kenny Omega takes off the protective. Oh. Off the top of the barricade. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at the way MJF is checking. It's just literally grasping his side ribs. And well, he's going to have to grab it even longer if we know where this is going. Well, Turner trying to prevent Kenny Omega from doing that. Again, the way this needs to be resolved inside the ring if you want to keep your streak and claim the championship again, where, again, the winner has switched by Jay White waiting for them at full gear. But uh, Omega seems a little bit frustrated because he wanted to do a powerbomb once again to MJF on the barricade, but Paul wasn't having that. He's beating me beat it back in the ring for the count of 10. Great, great move by the official. MJF right now in the worst for wear. Kenny Omega, high risk district, perched on the top rope. But that's a long distance. That's a long distance. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. Kenny took a little bit longer than he expected. Yeah, and he hits hard and pays for it as MJF takes the base out from underneath Kenny Omega. Quick thinking by the champion. MJF right now trying to have the people wheel him in, and Kenny Omega right now stealing the pain that is the top turnbuckle. Underneath as both men are up to the top, and I don't like where this is going, Noah. Wait, he's giving hip thrust. Oh, wow. That's the mm. ultimate version. Oh, of my God. Oh, God. Drop, drop first. Across the top turnbuckle. Change the way did it Will Osprey and Tetsuya Naito. Jump team back at Gamer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boink. Bang, big trigger. In the snap dragon. What's more? Another snap dragon. And another. Dang. One, two, no. No. Holy hell. Two and nine tenths. Wow. Wow. Again, though, cocky cover. Cocky cover. He did not put enough body weight on the shoulders. No, he did not. Too confident in that exchange. But I think he's about to have a target acquired. Bang! Set sight! Uh, Kenny Omega picks up speed zero to 100 and bang! The V-Trigger! V-Trigger! Wait, he's not done! He wants one more! And MJF once again... Got him! Bang! The second round connects! My God! 
Will that get him in the one wing angel so far? Yeah. But wait. Oh, uh, what would you say about Don Callis earlier in the night? Well, what did I say about Don Callis earlier in the night? Fucking sick. Kenny Omega had it if he would have hit the one wing angel. And Don Callis coming down with a screwdriver. Look at the screw Kenny Omega once again. The Wait, oh, 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 the oh, 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 Shouldn't have been allowed in the arena. Keep it one winged. Yeah, finally, the one wing. No. MJF counter sunset flip. The round for the cover. Another roll throw. Another roll throw. Cross legs. Counter cross legs. No. No. Oh, my God. Thank you, JR. Amazing pro wrestling match. Amazing wrestling exchange with these two. He. She gone. Entertaining. Hey. Cover! No! No! My goodness gracious! What the hell is it gonna take? <laughs> what is it gonna take to win this match? One mess up! One mess up! But either, if not even that one mess up, both of these men are still going at it. It's gonna have to take uh, somebody to disastrously have a disaster mistake. Oh, High man. stakes. The streak with the streak. Of Kenny Omega on the line of against MJF trying to beat that longest reigning AW World Championship reign. MJF again looking to go back to the Panama Olympics. Sunrise. Shout out to his friend Adam Cole. Baby. Can he get it? No. No, Kenny Omega. Deep cover. Deep cover. Sit down. Cover. I thought he had it. I thought he literally Up had and it. over. Kick. Oh, man. What a kick to the jaw. There we go. Pin him on side rise. On the second rope. Got him. Side rise. He got it. He got it. He's going to use the heat secret DDT to finish it off. Is this the final move? Got him. Heat secret connect. Cover one, one two, two, three. MJF has done it. My God! <laughs> that, folks, was professional wrestling. Oh, my God. I have to stand up after that one. That's Same. Sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a phenomenal match. Demonstrated by both MJF and Kenny Omega. MJF has and look who is waiting in the wings, Noah. Look who is waiting. And you wonder if Samoa Joe approves of that performance or would he have wanted to face Kenny Omega. Either way, it stands and now truly shows the longest reigning AEW. But also look who's champion. looking. Oh, boy. Look at that monster, Wardlow, who has made his intentions be known. Oh, my gosh. MJF may have claimed the longest reigning moniker and still may be the AEW World Champion, but he is far from done with the hit list that's out against him. Wardlow, Samoa Joe, and officially looming at full gear, the Switchblade J. Wait, Ryan. Hobbs! Oh, and there's a member of the Don Callis family. Let's figure about that again. The yep. itinerary. Holy hell. What the what is the next chapter of the book of Hobbs and the Dark? Oh, of course. There's Bullet Club Gold. Oh, As we man. now know officially, the main event for full gear in the Kia form in LA will still be in Jeff defending the AW World Championship, the triple B against Bullet Club Gold's switchblade, Jay White. Again, as a handshake to these two, absolutely earned and respect. Deserved. What we saw here tonight was ushering in the leader of this generation. MJF yep. has arrived and has hung and defeated 
Kenny Omega. Why Kenny Omega, some may say, is still in his prime. MJF time is just starting. As he continues to prove that he is better than you, and you know it. But will he be better than Bullet Club Gold this coming Wednesday and find three partners and reclaim his Triple B? And will Orange Cassidy outlast the vengeance of Kyle Castanoli? And of course, to come next week at AEW Collision, the acclaimed 69-day championship celebration as me and the King leave you on this impromptu ATW view, simply reacting. Hope you enjoyed this. You want more of this live on demand? Let us know. For my all elite brother, the King, I am the Seminole Foster, reminding you Saturday nights are always all right with AEW. And with um, that being said, holy hell, what a show. What indeed. A show. That was fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Woo-wee. <sighs> Respect shown to Kenny Omega and, and once again return. That was fucking incredible. 30-minute classic. What a freaking match. Loved every minute of it. And loved every <laughs> minute of the show. Indeed, my friend. Indeed, my brother. Well, woo! That was freaking great. Well, stay tuned. I'll provide the link to uh, ATW so you all can watch this on a collision and see if we're uh, better than uh, Kevin Kelly and Dr. McGinnis and uh, Jim Ross. I think I will love this on my YouTube channel. But before I bid you all a fine adieu, I guess Eric wants to come in and say a few things before I disconnect to open mic night. So let's go ahead and bring him into the fun. Eric, my God. All right, all right Quiet World. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Hey, everybody. How, how did it feel? Uh, this is my first ever wrestling show watched in full since All In. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. How how did it feel to be to how, to do that? How did it feel? Well, it felt great watching the main event. That yeah, culminated with an incredible main event. Both those men, I would love to see that run back. So I got a question: Are they building to an elimination chamber of sorts for World's End? I don't know, but right now you got literally an infinity war of factions with House of Black, FTR, Los Fazos and Gobernables, and whoever the hell Ricky Starks and Big Bill could have. It, it, it does feel like that. What first or, awaits at Worlds Collide is what I'm wondering. But, yeah, what, also, but, but also, I just had a realization. What up? If Jay White and Bullet Club Gold are after MJF and they have the belt, what's stopping the Don Callis family from getting involved since Hobbs is now gunning for it? Uh, I would say Hobbs is gunning for it. I'll still say that their agenda is still a on Omega trying to get rid of the E in all elite wrestling. Exactly. That's Don Callis' top agenda to remove Kenny Omega. And whether or not Powerhouse Hobbs sees Kenny Omega more vulnerable since he destroyed Chris Jericho, or like you said, does Hobbs now have eyes on MJF's prize? That remains to be seen. The bottom line, AEW has far more going for it and its world championship then WWE. Yeah. Also, uh, did you hear what Ric Flair said in an interview recently? No, I didn't. No. Uh, guess, guess what he said. And when I heard this, I was like, oh, for this, this, I knew this was going to happen. Do tell. He said he would love to die in the ring. Oh, it's one geez. of those things, though, that it's not too far fetched to hear that because I'm pretty sure Will Osprey even says. He will die for his crap. Now, whether or not that mindset has changed since he's got a lovely lass, uh, it, it, it's one of those things where I do think people take Look, we don't need an Owen Hart event happening in wrestling, except well, this one would be more deliberate. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, again, words can speak volumes. But words can also speak scary volumes, too. Oh, also, did you – also, guess what uh, Mikey Ruckus said about the theme song of Ric Flair? That he oh. did it. He did it minutes before the, the the show, right? Five hours. He is five brilliant. hours before. He's he's brilliant. He really is brilliant for what he does. He really, yeah. He he brings life into the other TV what reality. um other what WWE's doing with Def Rebel, except for a few things in there. I in think my Def Rebel opinion. would. I think Def Rebel would be a better cast off for Guitar Hero. 
if and that I game's wonder, relevant. About it, I get the feeling Dev Rebels being told, okay, make everything song horrible except for anyone that involves the NOIE family. Yeah, you know what? Who knows? Yeah. He might be in Vince's pocket, not Triple H's mindset, because Triple H actually tries to add character value. So, I mean, yeah. I guess. Also, Roman Reigns is not planned for Survivor Series, as I've already said. Go figure. Go figure. Ugh. At this rate, they might as well. At this rate, they, 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 he might break Hogan's record. God help us. Also, well, I mean, I mean, um, guys, guys, well, you know, you go with whatever works. Also, did you hear that FTR versus Young Bucks 4 has been officially off the table? Yep. Yeah, yeah I heard that. for some reason, people are now mindlessly saying, oh, clearly FTR didn't want to do business. And I was like, they lost the first match. Like, uh, they, they still don't want they, they still want to do business, but it's more like I feel like Ricky Starks and Big Bill are having a new challenge, and that's going to be the Bucks. Like, we've already seen the Bucks and FTR four times, I mean, three times. Let them let them take a break for about forever, as long as they need to, and we'll get a fourth one between them. You don't need to be right now. Uh, exactly. Well, again, you don't want to so over. One can make the argument Tony Khan was the one that made that call, not not FTR. Well, that's like, smart on top. FTR made the idea on. for Ricky Starks and Big Bill to win, but F- but Tony Khan could have said, "Look, the the young bu- Okay, look. All due respect to the Young Bucks, FTR. Brad! Sorry, go ahead. But like <laughs> Ricky Starks and Big Bill are killing it. We got to keep the time a little bit longer. And, and to be fair, they absolutely are, pun intended. Yeah, I mean, again, Ricky Starks and Big Bill, they work. They do. Uh, All right. Also, guess what AJ Styles revealed? Oh, what? What? Okay. Uh, he's, tr- he's currently <laughs> traveling around the country with WWE. And guess what? His unculturedness has produced. Unculturedness. That's unculturedness. Go ahead. He's walking. He's playing an Xbox 360. Man, people still play PS2 and Nintendo 64. Get out of here with that. Yeah, game. I know. Right. I still have a PS2 in my room. So I miss, I miss my PS2 personally. And I still got. And speaking of that, yesterday oh. it was 20 years to the day that Smatter Here Comes to Pain was released. I, yeah. I heard, I saw that. I saw that actually. Mm. Oh, all right. Well, this was fun. You know what? Maybe the next time they do an AEW special, we'll definitely uh, do this uh, live. Because the King, I don't know about you, I had a hell of a time doing this. That live. was fun, dude. I ain't gonna lie. That was fun. Now you see why I do this live <laughs> on the biggest shows with JJ, James, and Priscilla. Yep, I do see it. Why? All right. Well, I got, I, got, here's the thing: if YouTube copyright and AEW copyright weren't such a big problem on the internet, you want to know what I would have pitched? What would you have pitched? What I would have pitched? Okay, let's take the AEW shows, rip out the audio of the commentators, and have YouTube be commentary. Oh God! <laughs> come on, Rob. come on! You crazy? Bruh. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I admire that idea. That we that do, idea. man. We admire that, but man. <laughs> Crazy for thinking that. <laughs> uh, also, um, Marty Janetti, remember him? Oh, dear God. I never thought I'd hear that name again in the professional that's wrestling man. landscape. Well, hey, uh, hey, that's man. what he said about Hulk Hogan. Oh, brother. <laughs> what did he said say? That Hulk Hogan has a gumball machine filled with drugs. Okay, well, some people um, are foolish. And right. And he would know this because he went why? to his house. But anything I that anything that Marty Janetti says nowadays, I take it with a grain of salt. Also, Marty Janetti said that he doesn't want to be remembered for his wrestling. He wants to be remembered for his sex. Oh my God. There's some people where they just need to realize that you're better off being forgotten. Yep. Well, I'm gonna switch to uh Fine Spirit Unleashed and then get ready for open mic night. I'm sure they're gonna try and embarrass me or do something stupid with me in some way. You know? <laughs> yeah, uh, guys. So King, before you go, there was one thing I wanted to tell you. If you want, you can leave Noah. Yeah. Well, I, I think if I drop out of the studio, it, it's yeah. gonna drop out the whole thing because he's the host of it. I mean, we're just yeah. I'm just using a guest app. So go ahead and tell before we uh, get out of here. Man, on your mind. I'm trying to remember this, but apparently he also said at one point that he had, um, let's see, he oh. had relations with a rabbit. I guess I was in Wonderland wasn't the only weird thing Disney produced. I guess not. Yeah, and when I heard this, part of me was like, 
okay, that is disturbingly gross. <laughs> I'm like, I could obviously go with the obvious joke here about Noah, but that's too easy. No, 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 save it. No, no, don't do it. Not now, because he's got he's got a lot of this plate. This has been an ACW special. We will see you next time for the AW viewing brought to you. Please call the ACW family and all the social media. Shout out to our queen, Megan Chiba, her recent match against Laura DiMatteo. You can find a Spy Buster TV on YouTube. Shout out to our on field correspondent that's going to write it down. Of course, the lovely Sienna Chanel. You can follow her on social media. Follow Eric Brown into the WrestleVerse at Neo Reality. He's got a link trade. Follow Preacher Man Casey Flynn. Shout out to the Enforcer Lex. Our next interview impromptu will be after Monday Night Raw this coming Monday. A lot to talk about. Live experiences, crown jewel thoughts, WWE nonsense. And I'm sure Eric will find a way to piss me off too. Until <laughs> next time, on behalf of the yeah. AW family, we are ATW and we bid you all now a fine and do goodbye, Mwah. Mwah. and good freaking night. Bang! What? Bang! What? I thought, oh, I thought he was gonna say something. No, I, I already said it. I'll wait. I'll wait till next time. Yeah, Ooh. Monday night. I'm sure you're gonna find a way to piss me off <laughs> on the day before Halloween. Not a treat, but a tricky treat. Damn you! No, sadly, I do not have the technology to go and get bunny ears for the display. Oh! So, King, go do that. Go buy some bunny ears and put it on. <laughs>